In this video, we're going to talk about the group items question type. Here, you add groups with images, words, text, and audio fragments, and book widgets will randomize the groups for your students, and your students have to drag and drop the items on top of each other to form the right groups again. Add your question. Here my students have to drag and drop all the images, texts and descriptions of the animals to form the right groups. Here you're going to add your groups. So you can add a word, you can add an image or you can add audio. Whenever you type your first word, you can add other things to your group. So let's start with a tiger. And here you can add something else. I have a description as well. And then I can add an image. I'm looking for this image online using the Pixabay image library that, that is connected to book widgets. And then I can add audio. So I have an audio fragment. I have this on my computer. Of course, you can record one right away as well. So this is my first group. I have to add it in book widgets like it's correct. So book widgets will randomize it for the students and they will have to put all things together. Then I'm going to add my second group right here. When you're done, just scroll down and change the scoring weight when needed. It's a score multiplier, so for each right answer that is connected right, they will get a point. And click on preview to see how this looks like for your students. You can see that all the elements of all the groups are being randomized. And your students have to drag and drop things on top of each other to create the groups. It's always easier to, to drag the small things on top of the large description or images. So if these images are too small for your students, they can just click on it and they can zoom in and zoom out like this. And now we are going to match the things like this. <laughs> so when your students have put all the things together, they can click on show answers to see how this is automatically created. Again, here, like in any other widget from book widgets, you can ask your students to submit their answers first, so you can take a look and give feedback, and then return the work with the right answers and also with the grades and your feedback. In this case, I'm showing you the answers to show you immediately how this is automatically created. So these are the correct answers below and here they can see the groups that were matched wrong. So out of the five groups students had the match, they just have three groups correct. So they get three, three points out of five. Then again, here you see the correct answer. You can also click here on the audio fragments. to listen to the correct answer.